Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Becca and I am back filming on this channel. We're doing a vlog to keep it as simple as possible for me. I wanted to do a little day in the life to just show kind of what this season of life is looking like right now. She woke up for the day at 8.30. She was up a couple of times last night as well, but she is sleeping longer stretches, which makes things a lot easier for me. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> also, I haven't put her on any sort of schedule. I'm just sort of seeing like what she does and then building a schedule around that, you know? So anyway, we spend the morning in her little bouncer and she sits in that and she like looks at all of the plants and like she like fixates on this. Is she smiling at you? Yeah, she's smiling. So yeah, she, there's like a lot to look at in here and like her vision is getting better. Oh. Look at her when she like flares her nostrils. Oh. We have breakfast in here. Well, I do. She's she's already had breakfast. Yeah, and it's just nice to be able to like sit in here and she's happy in her bouncer for so long. She just did not want to be put down, which was honestly fine. I'm kind of missing it now. <laughs> it's just one of those things, you know, but she's been also taking some independent naps. So we'll see if we can get that again today, but I have to record for the podcast in a couple of minutes. I have been on like a back to work schedule for a couple of weeks now. So I kind of went back to work quote unquote at eight weeks, but because I work from home and for myself, it's obviously really flexible. Um, but even that was super sad. And Daniel is still on paternity leave, so it has made the transition for me going back to work a lot easier. Hold on, I'm still waking up. Oh my God. I can also take on anything, but the issue is, is I'd have to learn real quick. So if anybody can do like a quick learning session, I could, and I've used the software before, so I think it should be pretty quick. But I am vlogging for a second, so say hello. I can't hear you. I just realized they're not gonna be able to hear you. Okay, done filming the, or recording the podcast. Nora ended up coming in and eating during that. And then I just put her down for a nap, but then she woke up. So Daniel is up there soothing her and hopefully she will fall back asleep because like I said, she's been taking like hours long naps during the day, which is so great because I could theoretically get some work done. I'm going to make myself lunch now. I've been making turkey sandwiches. It's like a real, I brought my lunch from home vibe and I'm, actually loving it. So I'll have my sandwich, maybe like a little bit of chips or um, Cheez-Its or something. And then I have hummus with my sandwich, which I love having like dips and things for food that I eat. Like I love food that has sauces and stuff. It's just, I don't know, it makes my eating experience very fun. So I've also, something that I've done differently is I get lunch meat from like the deli bar. So I get it like by the pound and I just buy like a pound of lunch meat and that's usually enough for the week. And it is more expensive, but I find that I will actually eat it that way and that feels more worth it to me because when I just buy the lunch meat from like the packs, for some reason it like grosses me out and it also doesn't last very long. It's like only like two or three sandwiches. So a pound from the little walk up deli usually is like between like 10 and $15, just like depending and sometimes a little bit less, but I don't know. I'm spending more, but I'm actually eating it. So I feel like that's worth it. By the way, the baby monitor that we have is the Infant Optics. And um, basically it's not a non Wi-Fi one. So you have like the old school monitor thing. Although this one is like a camera, so it's not that old school, but I am, I am noticing that this thing dies really fast because we've been using it more lately since she's been sleeping up there and like the battery is not that great, but maybe it's just not getting a full charge. I don't really know. nap is not happening today so she's contact napping with Daniel while I get ready because I need to film a video um, and my hair is not herring today I'm really not liking my hair today I got a bangs trim yesterday as you probably could tell and it was not 
a great bangs trim, I have to be honest with myself here, but my hair grows really fast. So in like a week, maybe less than that, it'll look good again. Like it'll look normal, but I had her cut them a little bit shorter than I normally would because I'm trying to make the bang trim last longer, which I feel like was a mistake <laughs> because she also made it like very choppy and I just feel like I look edgier than I want to. Like I almost feel like I look like I have like a micro bang and I don't want to rock a micro bang because I'm not a micro bang person. There are people who can rock the micro bang and then there are people like me who cannot. So having bangs is like such a fine line between micro bang and Dora and like you got to find the in-between like I like to have it get feathered into the rest of my hair but like my hair is like so blah right now and I'm not doing anything to my like the bulk of my hair because I am anticipating postpartum hair loss so I don't want to like make a big change until that happens and I also feel like making a big change to your appearance in a time in your life where you are like very fragile <laughs> emotionally um whatever is not a good idea at least for me like if i'm going through a big life transition i don't want to change my hair i want my hair to remain the same i want to look the same <laughs> because if everything else looks different at least my hair looks the same you know what i mean like when i got pregnant i would not have chopped my hair at that point and now that i'm postpartum i'm not going to chop my hair because i need my security safety blanket but probably in a few months i might do some sort of chop because look at how long it's getting long and like a couple weeks ago or let's say a couple months ago it was like up to here i think my hair grows like an inch a month which i think is average what i kind of want to do is i would like to restyle my bangs but i can't do that while while they're wet i mean while they're dry so i need to wet them which is why i was thinking i would like wash my hair but i'm worried that they're gonna like spring up and be really short after i wash i don't know the transition here into the long is super choppy this isn't good oh i don't like it it's a bad bangs trim i feel like it's better than i would have done but like ugh giving me bad vibes honestly dressing myself and like getting ready has been very hard for me in this postpartum season because i don't know what clothes look good on me anymore i don't know like how to do my makeup and my hair anymore it just i feel weird in my body you know so this is a little bit strange Ugh. i'm just gonna take a shower and wash my hair we're just gonna start over i don't know if i feel better but my hair is at least clean I'm just gonna relax for a second because I'm feeling really anxious today. And it might be because I thought that we were on a schedule and we're not. <laughs> like it's been cool and fun to like let her make the schedule and like be chill. But at the same time, it has been hard for me personally to like not have a life schedule and like feel like with babies, once you, I'm also like really out of breath from running up the stairs, so sorry. <laughs> My cardio is not back up yet. But yeah, I feel like once you feel like you have some semblance of a schedule or a routine, they change, like something, they grow a little bit or they, I don't know, something changes. And it can just be really hard to like, I don't know, for me it's been hard to kind of roll with the punches because I'm very goal oriented and like enjoy my life feeling the same day to day. And it's just not like that with a baby. And there's just so much about having a baby that I just did not expect. And it's been amazing, don't get me wrong, but there is such a huge adjustment that I honestly like was not anticipating. I just, for some reason, feel like I didn't know that postpartum would be how it was. And I am planning a fourth trimester postpartum chat to like discuss that more because I feel like, I don't know, I should have watched more of those in the months leading up to having the baby, but I didn't do that because she came early and I wasn't even in that mindset yet. So I don't know, I'm like kind of, sometimes I get down on myself because there's so much preparation that I wanted to do and then I feel like I needed to do that I couldn't do because she came early and she came at the perfect time for her, you know. But for me, it was like, 
yikes i'm not ready um just kind of had to dive in so i feel like my fourth trimester talk is gonna be a lot of that so stay tuned for that if you have any questions that you want me to answer in that video then leave them in the comments down below and i will try to like work them in i asked on my instagram de la plants the other day if anybody had any um requests for questions and just like topics to talk about in that video <sighs> but yeah so i don't know if you can like feel my energy through the screen right now but i am just feeling very anxious and like high strung right now and i just need to like come down and relax because i can't effectively work or like be a good mom and just i don't know be myself when i'm like this because i'm just like i don't know worried so no better time than to talk about my eye oasis 2 by bob and brad this is an eye mask that is meant to relax you help you fall into a deep sleep bob and brad are two physical therapists and this is their brand and it's a really really cool product it folds for easy transport and it has this case which is super nice daniel and i keep talking about how this would be so nice to bring like on a plane and stuff like that um if you suffer from migraines like daniel and i do this is a really awesome thing to look into so lately with the sleep deprivation my migraines have been triggered a bit more. So the Eye Oasis 2 features five massage modes, three air pressure intensities, and two heat levels. And something that's really helpful about it, since it covers your eyes completely and you can't see, you can see these buttons right here. <laughs> hopefully you can see that there is like raised pieces so that you can just like feel around to um, make the changes you want so you don't have to like fully take it off and make the changes and put it back on and probably like the best thing about all of this is it is extremely quiet so if you wanted to just like wear it to sleep that is also something you can do so if you're interested in checking out the i oasis 2 from bob and brad you can use the code oasis new yt and that'll get you 10 percent off there is a link in the description box below and i'm going to use this to have my moment of relaxation before i enter back into the world of work and parenthood okay quickly checking in from iphone cam i am about to film a video for my main channel i'm all set up here and I have to use my vlog camera for that. I just switch out the lens. My other lens is up here, my vlog lens. Um, so I'm gonna film that and then I have a bunch of packages that I need to unbox because I have been doing some shopping for the nursery. My video is filmed and I'm about to finish my work day off by opening these packages and putting them in the places they need to go. And then I'm done because the baby is feeling very cuddly today and I wanna cuddle with her. <laughs> because the last two days she was being very independent and it made me sad even though that's a good thing it made me sad <laughs> so the first thing i already know what this is this is a mirror that i bought for her room and i actually am doing a diy it's the only diy that i currently have planned for in there because i just decided that <laughs> i think diys are going to really slow me down in this process of finishing up her room but I wanted to do this one because it's very easy. So I basically bought a mirror and then a bunch of half circle wood beads and I'm going to put them onto the mirror so that it could be this like cute beaded mirror moment. I figured it's literally gonna take me like maybe 30 minutes to make it. But in addition to that, I also ordered like a bunch of other little things for the nursery. Ooh, okay, these are the bookshelves that I got and there's three of them I think and I'm going to just hang them right on top of each other and put books on them they have a little book ledge that is what they look like so that's gonna be really nice I like the color I got like a walnut walnutty wood color I am trying to stick with like walnut colored woods because that's sort of what her crib is colored and I don't love the idea of like a bunch of different color woods in a room they don't all have to be like the exact same walnut color but I like them to be at least like in the same general shade. This one is heavy. Oh my gosh. Okay. This baby crib mobile. Oh, okay. So I got a mobile hanger for outside of the crib because I have heard that the ones that you put on the crib might not be exactly safe for like safe sleep. So because they could like pull it down onto themselves. So if the mobile is like up a certain, you know, she's not going to be standing or like able to grab it for a while, but this just makes it so that it's not attached to her crib so that when she is like able to at least grab onto her crib, she's not going to accidentally pull the mobile down on top of her. 
I think that's what makes it unsafe. I don't really know. This one I couldn't find in like a darker wood shade. So it is more like a light wood. What is this? Oh, okay. I was about to order this off of the Etsy Ritzy website and I found it like one night when I was nursing and I was like, oh, I'll just, I'll order it in the morning when I am like more awake and can make a better decision. And then I went to go buy it the next morning and it was gone. Like it was the last day that it was on their site was the day that I found it. So anyway, I found it on Amazon and I got it from there, but it's this little coil thing that you put on their stroll or on their car seat. <laughs> because she's starting to like look around at things and I thought this would just be really cute. And we have a play mat from Itsy Ritzy and it's just so cute. That's a baby stuff company that I really like. Ooh, I feel like I'm gonna need more of these. These are the half circle things that I got, the, the half circle wood things. I didn't read on the blog post how many she bought, but maybe I'm gonna have to buy another one. We will see, but it's a 30 inch mirror, 30 inch round mirror. So I'm anticipating I'm gonna need more than this, but. I guess it'll be a good place to start for now. And then the last thing in this box is the floor lamp that I got. So the theme of the nursery is woodland and I wanted everything to be like, I don't know, very on theme because it's a kid's room and like you can do that. This is the lamp that I got. It looks like a tree branch and then these look like little lanterns and they're like wicker. I thought it was so cute. In any other context of my life, I would not like this. <laughs> Like I would, I don't think I would ever hang this like in my living room, but in the context of a kid's room that is themed woodland, it's amazing. And I'm so excited about it. And I found a branch that was like a darker wood color. So it looks a little bit more natural and I'm just so excited about it. I'm not going to open the mirror because you know what a mirror looks like. We don't need to see that. Um, also when I sat down, I like poked, something poked my foot and it felt like a bee sting but I was looking around on the floor, like I was convinced that I got stung by a bee. And like looking at it right now where I got poked on my foot, it's like swelling. Like I did get stung by a bee, but I don't see a bee anywhere. So I really don't know what it was that poked me, but it hurt, I like screamed. And my foot is like swelling up in that spot, like a welt. I'm so freaked out, I have no idea what that was. Is there a bee stinger on the floor and I just don't know about it? Like, I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> This, I'm fairly certain, is an office chair. So the podcast, I have a podcast, Potted Together, and every single time I move in my office chair, um, you can hear it, it's so loud. And Daniel sat in my office chair the other day and was telling me how uncomfortable it is. And like, yeah, I know it's uncomfortable, but I was fine. Like. <laughs> Sometimes in life, I'm like, oh, I want something nice and new. But in other times I'm like, no, I don't need it. I really just am fine with this. And that was the office chair was one of those situations where I was just like, I don't need anything new. I just want to deal with this. So with that being said, <laughs> potted together my podcast, bought me this new chair. So Daniel is finishing putting together the chair. I kind of asked you to put it together as a joke and then you actually did start putting it together. So thank you. Of course. So while he's finishing that up, I am going to put little hooks on our kitchen curtains. So I bought these, not bought, well yeah, I did buy these curtains a long time ago and I thrifted them, I believe. Is that where they came from? I think I thrifted them. And I hemmed them to fit the living, the window, these curtains right here. And I just used the loop to put them on and I just noticed that it's really annoying to open them and close them. So I got some of these curtain clips, these black curtain clips, and we're gonna try that out. Um, I was thinking about maybe using these in the nursery and I thought to myself, well, if I don't use them in the nursery, I can use them in the kitchen. So I'm not going to use them in the nursery. So this is perfect. It is actually just a tension rod because the weight of the curtains is not very much. Um, and it is like a, huge window and it was really hard to find a curtain rod that could span outside of the window so i just found a tension rod that could go pretty much to the length of well exactly to the length of the window so i don't really know how taking it down is gonna go i'm a little nervous about that but we're gonna do it and i don't know if i have enough of these i have 20 and i have four curtain panels and i think i'm I think you're, wait, no, I only have 14 and I think seven is supposed to go, I think it's supposed to go like seven per curtain panel. I don't know. 
we're just gonna have to find out. Okay, so I was correct in saying that I would need all seven for one panel. I definitely should iron it, but I really don't want to. I feel like I need to though. That's probably gonna bother me if I don't, but yeah, I so I only have enough for two panels and these panels are pretty wide. Like one of them will cover almost half of the window. So two should cover the full window. Mo well, let's say most of the window. So I might just see what two looks like and then go from there. If it looks really bad, then I'll just get more hooks. It's fine. <laughs> I'll do it, but let's just start with what we have and I am gonna go get my iron because that's gonna bother me Okay, I've got them up there and it's like we need a third panel because this is with them fully spread out We've got just that little bit of space and you can't just put a third panel because when they're open It's gonna look weird because one side is gonna have more bulk than the other side. So you have to do two so that is why I initially did four. So I'm gonna have to buy more of these curtain clips, but that was honestly a much better experience um, opening and closing them because for so long it's been just a really annoying task. So I'm going to set these aside because we are going to put them up, but I need to get more clips, unfortunately. I also wanted to show my new chair all set up thanks to Daniel. It's very, very pretty. I love it. I got it mostly because, well, it has this like headrest, which is really nice. It has this footrest that flips out and you can just hang out just like this. No matter how I move, it's not making sounds. So that's really great. That was the main problem with my old chair was like while we were podcasting, it would always, like you could hear it in the background and that was not fun. So. Yeah, now I've got this. I think that it reclines. Oh, okay, that's not the button I wanted. Where's the other one? Yeah, there we go. Amazing. All right, I'll have it linked below if you guys are interested in checking it out. Um, how does it come back up? Oh, there we go. Yay. So with that, my work day is over. I hope that you enjoyed hanging out with me for the day while I was working and just getting things done around the house. Um, I'm going to now go watch TV for probably the rest of the day and play on the Nintendo <laughs> and hold the baby and just hang out. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much to Bob and Brad for sponsoring this video. Um, if you wanna check out the eye massager, I will have it linked down below. And yeah, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.